What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're playing some modern today. We're playing some birthing pods. Uh... Okay, so <clears throat> this is actually a deck submitted by Jake P, otherwise known as Guardian Lynx, otherwise known as Spectral Lynx. He, he's a Lynx of all, of all sorts. If we lose match one, try version two. I don't have version two loaded up, but we can probably, we can probably grab it real quick. If we lose, that's how little faith you have. You're like, all right, I'll give it one match. And then if we lose, we're done. We're just going to the next one. Um, basically, this is a Vanifar deck, but you're comboing with like Kiki Jiki and Deceiver Exarch. Or like Breaching Hippocamp. Or Restoration Angel. Huh. It does a lot of things. There's a lot of things happening in this deck. You also have Spike Feeder, Archangel of Thune combo. Deck is pretty sweet. So you basically, you, <clears throat> you pot away a creature, right? Like, let me sacrifice my Wall of Roots to go get a Renegade Rallier, which would get back my Wall of Roots, right? And then I can sacrifice the Renegade Rallier to get a Breaching Kippo Hippocamp, which would untap the the Prime Speaker. And then I would sacrifice the Hippocamp to get a Kiki Jiki. And then I would copy the Renegade Rallier to get back a Scrib Ranger <laughs> to untap the Prime Speaker to tap the Prime Speaker to sacrifice the Scrib Ranger to get a Deceiver Exarch and then combo off with Kiki Jiki. <laughs> is that a thing? Did I just actually figure out the combo? Like, right? Because, like, that is incredibly convoluted, but it's it's here and it's all here. And I just literally had to do a search for Crassus so I could trade back my uh, Hydroid. Hy Hy Hydroid Crassus? Is that what it's called? <clears throat> but I'm wondering if Bounding Crassus is just, like, better than these guys. No, because only taps a creep. Well, huh? No, it's it dies to lightning bolt, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna give this, we're gonna give this deck a, a try. We're gonna give this the old college try. And I want to make sure to put the deck in stream decker so you guys can have access to it. I'll even call this one V1. In case we do have to utilize V2 at some point. Why GF no want me go F and M? Well, you see. It's because you're a negligent boyfriend, that's why. I think we can keep this hand. No. <laughs> you know, Neon Tokyo Rain, I have no idea if anything you've said today is genuine. Bloodstained Mire, I imagine this this noble hierarch is really uh really long for this world, that's for sure. Court of Calling is interesting. I wonder if we ever have enough creatures for that. Here. Go seventeen, kill this immediately. The answer, my friends, was no. Oh, a Tarmogoyf, huh? Well, isn't that a cutie? Spoiler alert, it's not a cutie. So I guess we just have three drop, four drop here. We're just literally playing on curve. We got like a... This Dally Art's great. I actually really like this Dally Art. <clears throat> it's absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful, it's true. To Exodus, thank you so much for our five months. Our five month baby doll. Let's get... I guess we can just get... Uh, I kind of just want to get a basic here, I want to be honest with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have a planes in the deck. <clears throat> I have to assume we do. But maybe we don't. We do. That's nice. I 
I was the face of Thraben once. It was a long time ago. I haven't used that name in a long time. That's kind of like an Obi-Wan, kind of Obi-Wan thing where he's like, that is a name I haven't heard in a long time. You knew my father? Knew him. We were friends. Admiral, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh, well met. Well met. What is that from? <clears throat> like, whose emote is that? Uh, let's tap a thing. Let's tap this. Shuts off like abrupt decays or... Assassin's trophies. Oh, you're gonna... Pay four? Braska's Contempt? Wow. No, you can't do that. Three? Colagon's Command on Thalia and make us discard? That could be fine as well. Take a player discards and, well, well, nailed it. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, we're not gonna block, I don't think. So we can just attack here. My friend was in a band called themselves Lonesome Face of Bo. They were just okay, but the name was on point. I don't even understand that name. I guess I'm just hoping they don't have a removal spell for uh, Prime Speaker Vanifer. Okay, well, they don't have one. This is pretty this is pretty good. We might get to untap and go crazy. So they didn't attack with Bloodbraid Elf, but they did attack with this. I feel like if they had a lightning bolt, they'd probably attack with both, but I'm pretty sure I'm also just gonna go three here. Or just taking three here. Um Okay, so four drops. We have Glenelg. We have Breaching Hippocamp, which we can get and then untap. We can only use this once a turn or no? Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Let me actually clip this so I don't have to keep going back and forth. You guys may be confused, but that's okay. Your confusion is an acceptable Com consequence. Consequence? Compromise? Thing? It's an, it's an acceptable thing. I accept it. I accept it as a thing. Uh, okay, so... <clears throat> Court of Calling, we can Court of Calling for two as well. And get nothing that untap... We can actually get a Scrib Ranger... We can't cord for Kiki right now, clearly. Right? Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we'd have 4 mana. Um, we can cord for a 4 drop, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I mean, eventually we could probably cord for Kiki, right? <clears throat> so here's the thing. Let's play this. Let's just get a green. We should we could get a Scrib Ranger <clears throat> and then return I think it's Scrib Ranger. And then we untap her with Scrib Ranger, and then we sack the Scrib Ranger to get Renegade Rallier. X is four though, right? So we can also rest out. No, she wouldn't have haste though. We can't do that. This is actually hard to do. <clears throat> this is actually this is going to take us the most time, which is why I'm glad we're on Magic Online because I want to be able to figure this all out. Um, I guess we don't have to actually tap her. We can actually just do it for two. Get Scrib Ranger. I don't know what they're going to get here. This is kind of scary. It's cost, right? So I can't actually respond to it by using the ability. 
<clears throat> Ranger. And then we'll sack <clears throat> Ranger to get Hippocamp on top of this. Got it. <laughs> Woo! Woo! The juiciest, boys. <clears throat> Got him. That was nice. That was a nice one. Sorry for the delay. This deck is uh, complicated. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. What are we? What are we taking out here? I don't think selfless spirits. Eh, selfless spirits could be fine, actually. Spell Skite. I like everything here. I don't think I don't think Pride Mage is necessary. Gaddock Teague is probably bad. Ooze is Ooze could be actually fine here. <coughs> Brenda, what's going on? Eh, what can you do? What can you do? Dankus Dags, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much. Too bad Mike isn't here on his birth. He's never here on his birthday. It's like he's got better things to do on his own birthday, no less. Like, come on, buddy. Do we like Thalia here? I guess it's fine. Do we like Deputy of Detention here? I guess it's also fine. I actually don't know what to bring in here, so I'm actually just going to play it like this. I don't think Jund has, like, a particular... There's no particular cards you really want against Jund. It's just a versatile deck with versatile cards. Yeah, I can keep this hand. <clears throat> Spell Skite's pretty good. We got Cord Calling, Spike Feeder. We got things to do. Do we want a stomping ground? I don't even think we want a stomping ground. I guess it's fine. I mean, I don't know what we're going to... Stomping ground's interesting. Do we actually have red cards in the deck? <clears throat> How many people am I losing in front of? <laughs> Not many yet. That's that's actually pretty hilarious. So the only red cards are Kiki Jiki. Like, is there ever a point where we have like enough red sources to actually cast a Kiki Jiki? How many 
We have steam vents and two stomping grounds. Okay, I guess we do. You gotta get you gotta get them all though. Also three birds, yeah, that's true. And Scrib Ranger could untap the the birds, sure. All of this is it's all coming together. Well, this does not uh, this does not stop. That's real this is sad. So long, Spellskite. I hardly knew you. If it will be Blood Moons is an easy kiki, that's a good point. That is a good point. <clears throat> hmm. Do we get a kiki or do we get rid of Dark Confidant? Probably Dark Confidant, right? If we play a little we can't get anything, right? Yeah, we'll just spike feeder here. So we need eight mana to get an, Ar an Archangel of Thune. I think that's a little bit out of our range right now. We'll have five next turn. I think we're just discarding Kiki Jiki. I don't see us casting Kiki Jiki at any point, so. It's weird Tarmogos is 01, right? Like, why wouldn't it be... Anyway, there's probably a legit reason for it. It's whatever. Oh, uh, let's gain some life. Villy, did you not know that Vanifer, Prime Seeker Vanifer was, was just was just birthing pod? I feel like we're a little behind in this match, unfortunately. I <laughs> know the damn this clue to be on. All right, well then, I appreciate your honesty. So we can go to fifteen. It's so the problem is like no matter what we steal. I'm gonna get rid of the confidant because I think it's just a longer. Uh, It's it's more dangerous to us if we stay it sticks around longer. But they're gonna have the lightning bolt. Are you ready? Yep, there it is. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, fatal push. Yep. Uh this is probably a concession. I don't think us they're gonna make us discard more card or they're gonna make us sacrifice the noble hierarch. I don't think sacking uh, the Noble Hierarch is really beneficial to them. Other Sworn Cannonists, Taki, Soul Spirit, no, Scavenging Ease, maybe? I mean, it's, it's almost worth boarding into just like a, a more aggressive deck with like a bunch of one ofs and things. Or not like one ofs, but like just value creatures. How good is Stanicaster? It kills Dark Confidants, but that's pretty much it, right? Yikes. This hand is a yikes, but... 
How many lands are in our deck? 22, huh? I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. No guts, no glory. Sarcastatron, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Ten months in a row. That is a long time. That is a long time for... Oh, they, they're only getting to four, so... Well, that's no bueno. First one looks not so bad. Oh, I'll keep a four four card four card hand with one land. Can I keep my seven card hand with one land instead? In one week we have our baby. One week exactly. Wow, I can't wait. I hope it's beautiful and healthy. Well, biscuits. It's okay. They don't have a ton of pressure to deal with here, so. Let's just start let's just start thinning our deck out a little bit. So as we noticed last game, we can actually go off with Prime Speaker and Deceiver Exarch, right? Like that's all we need is like these two cards. Which is pretty nuts though. Well, this is this is a couple of Deceiver Exarchs, which is nice. I'm not sure what they're gonna have for Prime Speaker. They have a Bloodstained Mire, so if they have a second Fatal Push, okay, that's good. Yeah, but then like you go Bloodstained Mire into, or you go Dryad Arbor into like one drop, which doesn't really do anything, right? We're going to tap this because it forces them to either use it or sack it. Tap a permanent. And if they sack it, then they no longer have a sacrifice outlet for revolt. Okay, well, they didn't fatal push there. All right, Vanifrest to stick around for one turn. This is why you don't take a Kiki Jiki out because if we had a Kiki Jiki in our sideboard, if we brought it, if we took it out, then we wouldn't be able to search for it, which is pretty rough. All right, so Verdant Catacombs into Fatal Push. Here we go. Here we go. Or it could be Bloodbraid Elf, which is also very good. I feel like a Bloodbraid Elf is coming, and now we just have to dodge the bullet. Yes. Okay. That should be game, right? <laughs> there was no glory. <laughs> wow, it's funny because oh, you're like, oh, I got Deceiver X Arc and Prime Speaker. I guess we win, right? All right, so sack this. I don't know if we, we would have had to use this, right? Like, so how would we have done it this time? What do you say, not gonna make you go through it? Okay, so we would we sacked Deceiver Exarch. 
And we would have gotten a 4 drop, probably breaching Hippocamp to untap Vanifer, right? So then we play... Then we just play Rallier. No, we didn't have a creature with 2 or less, so we actually have to just play Deceiver Exarch. Uh, activate Vanifer, sack the Glenelunge, sack, sack the Breaching Hippocamp to get Kiki Jiki, and then we have Deceiver Exarch and Kiki Jiki on board. Okay. But, like, I'm just curious, like, if we didn't have the second Deceiver Exarch, if we could have won? And I don't think so. But either way, that went well. There's a part of me that really wants, like, a Lightning Greaves in the deck. <clears throat> oh, I just got an email. Total month sub badge. We heard your feedback loud and clear that subscription badges need to reward consistent supporters, even if they miss a sub one month. As announced at TwitchCon and rolling out next week, sub badges will now change to show the total number of months a viewer has been subscribed to your channel. If a viewer is on an amazing streak, they can still choose to share it when they resubscribe. Uh, we're reaching out to let you know about this update and make you aware that as a one-time part of this rollout, all subscribers with more than two total months subscribed will be able to share a new resub message. This will apply even if they previously shared one earlier this month. You may receive a temporarily high volume of resub notifications for the next few days as a result. We want to let you know that this is coming in case you would like to make changes to on-screen notifications for these messages temporarily. That's pretty sweet. So, like, if you guys have subscribed for 12 months and you miss a month, you're still going to be... Uh, when you, if you come back and subscribe again, you're still going to be like 13 months instead of just one month again. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, because it's weird. Like if you're a, I'm a 56 month subscriber and then you miss one month and you're like, now I'm a one month subscriber and it's just like, oh, that's sad. It's got a breeding pool here. All of our cards are breeding poolable. I got potted. <laughs> we have a good time. I will pay two life. Yeah, you were a great opponent. Really appreciate the uh, the the good the solid sportsmanship, man. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna play bird after bird here, I guess. And then if this is a noble hierarch, we could actually attack for two. If they were both noble hierarchs, we could attack for two. How did the print of blood? Yeah, I was like, okay, bloodbird elf. It's all on you, buddy. But he did not deliver, unfortunately. Oh, that was a nice one. All right. So now we have... We could Vanifar here. Do we just run it into a counter spell? Probably not, right? I mean, Remand is actually fine. <laughs> Billy with the gifted sub, as usual. Oh my god. He's gifted 2,764 subs to this channel. He basically single-handedly pays you every single month. Looks like I found the nerd hideout. Wow. I mean, that's surprisingly accurate. You did. This is rude. This is what you want to do? It's just, it's just sad. I don't see why you'd ever play Quench in Modern. You would just play Mana Leak, right? <laughs> is there anything we can do here? I don't think so, man. All right, resolve, and we'll just play this guy. Come on, one one fetchy boy. Well, that's sad. 
I guess we're just beaten down. God, they have six cards in their hand. Brutal. I could have tapped the sphere. I could have been like, you know what? What are you going to do with it now, buddy? Nothing. This Fetchy Boy is my favorite Smith song. Uh, uh, it turn, I'm pretty sure it's turn four. Is it? Yeah, it's got to be turn four, right? Yep. Well, I feel like we're way behind right now. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's not feeling good. I had good feels, and now I have bad feels. Seeing hieroglyphic illumination in modern is really tilting. I'm just like, there's got to be a better, there's got to be a better way. But there was not a better way. Okay, well, you just bounce my bird. You got to bounce the bird, right? No, no bounce the bird. Okay. This is where detention sphere, their, their detention sphere, and then they kill our guy, and then we, they get to take all three of our birds, and then it's just just worse. Oh, are you quoting some bleachers here? That's nice. I was actually gonna prime speaker, which is why I took two here, but then I realized I'd rather just I'd rather just detention sphere their Jace because otherwise they just bounce the prime speaker. So uh, we have we have shock land remorse right now. It's like AOL. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's basically AOL. You don't think Chemistry's Insight is better? Really? Interesting. I mean, it just sits in the graveyard and does things, right? I feel like we're in bad shape. Do you guys think we're in bad shape? Can we still win here? I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we hit a land, we can actually sneak and get an Archangel of Thune, but I don't see any of this stuff. For, like, the problem is they have six cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands and a Jace. So it's like, the, op the, the odds they don't have, like, every single thing they've ever wanted is low. Oh, I guess that's true. Wall of Wall of Roots is twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is true. What are the odds they have Cryptic Command in their seven cards? Probably not. Probably low, right? Any chance you have any counter spell whatsoever? And done. All right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay. So. 
Gadok Teague can come in. We can take out the Court of... Can we take out color, Court of Calling? Knight of Autumn can come in. Uh, Pride Mage is probably better than some things. Selfless can come in again. Kataki and other Sworn Candidates we don't really care about. If we're bringing Gaddock to you, you can probably just take out the cords, right? Hmm. I wonder if Fulminator is just better than Deputy here. It's definitely possible. Being able to kill like celestial colonies and things. I'm gonna need to check them text. Did you text me? <laughs> anime guy. So Chris's text says anime guy holding butterfly. Is this good? And it's a picture of this. That is a sealed, unlimited, wow, starter deck. Wow, that is a sealed, unlimited starter deck. Well, that's some heavy breathing. Chris, have you opened that yet? Are you opening it or are you guys selling it uh, sealed? Six Wanderer, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Nice haircut. Had to catch you live today to resub. Really appreciate it. Hell's not open, and that is a terrible bad idea. Yeah, I think the return on investment is is like, it's 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 either super bad or super good. I think if it was beta or alpha, well, even then, like they would just be higher as sealed. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. I had not thought out my question before I asked. I'll just buy the I'll buy just the wrapper. You couldn't afford just the wrapper. Got him. You're a terrible idea unless you open it online right now. Chris, start a stream and open it up. <laughs> huh. Neat. I got a guy as a leash for my rare. Good. Boy, well, this is nice. Cute dog meme with this is fine. This is just fine. What is our record so Vanifar smugs? I don't understand. Eat this sandwich. What do you mean by that? That's the second time you've said that. I don't understand. Oh, what is our record so Vanifar? I get it. I get it. Okay. I understand now. It's a Vanifar. You're using the far in Van. That's, that's clever. That is clever. Oh, this guy is very hard to cast. It has occurred to me that this is a creature that is extremely hard to cast. And I have no idea how we're ever going to do double double red here. Like, we would have to actually get, like... Steam Fence... Like, two of the three red lands. I think, I think Fulmini Range might be a little... Uh, ambitious. I'm a father now and need to own it. That's fair. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. Oh, the old two mana scry. A classic. I guess we could also get one stomping ground and return it with the uh, scrub ranger and... And then replay it to Fulminator Mage, but, you know, that's a lot of work. Er, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Gotta do this. Gotta do it like this. Hmm. 
All right. So we can actually get Octeague here. Which turns them off of Cryptic Command and off of... So now we have Mana Lake to play around and we can also replay. Uh, get Octeague. Oh, cycling for one. Seems good. Sometimes it's just one of those days, guys. Sometimes you just naturally hit a terminus off of uh, off your thing. You know what I'm saying? Billy with the gifted sign. <laughs> Billy just sits there and gifts subs. It's unbelievable. They missed the land drop even though they hieroglyphic elimination and opted. That's interesting. Well, that is a thing, I guess. So it's funny because if I played this first, we could have actually put a counter on the Gaddock Teague. Like, there was a bunch of... <sighs> could have played around Snapcaster, but... Josh with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You guys are ridiculous. This is why I can't... I guess that's not, that's not why. This is uh this is something right here. 145 versus 100 and what 30 130? Oh my god. <laughs> Sweet contest, guys. Sweet contest. Weird flex, but okay. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a red source because maybe one day we can play this Fulminator Mage. Interesting. Okay, so double red, triple red are the cards in our hand. That's a yikes for me, dog. God, Kiichi is such a weird card, right? Like, there's literally nothing else like it. One weird flex buck. But okay. Yep, we're just going to play this tap. Alright, so now you're back at six cards and five lands. We're back at five lands and two cards. So I'm pretty sure this is the point where the deck has reached inevitability. And uh, we have no real recourse here. Oh, now they're dead. That's that's a, That was really good. Now they can't win. Is he being serious? They can still win. No, they can't win. The Termini Bros? Is that like the Terminus Bros? They put all your pastries under your deck. That doesn't make any sense. What is the Malira combo? I forgot actually what it was. That was a while ago.
Okay. One but okay, Buck. <laughs> we got one weird flex buck and one but okay, Buck. That's good. That's a nice combination. Oh, Malira and uh, Mad Murderous Red Cap, not Mad Cap. All right. Well, I don't know how they. Like I said, I don't know how they win here. Got them. They're basically dead. I'm pretty sure they can't find an answer in seven turns. Which means game three. Hit the game three. Malira versus Capcom. <laughs> yeah, the, the Capcom side has a high roster, but the Malira side, surprisingly, only one character. Interesting. Oh, that moment where you need to bake when you want to bake more but eat less. You what if you bake for other people? That's what you gotta do. Yeah, so basically, they can just block. So we can't even attack anymore because they got their little colonnade up. So we're gonna play this. They're gonna cryptic command it. They didn't. They're gonna, they're gonna do their little, their little, little supreme verdict jobbies. I see. I'm gonna go to the next game. Let's try something different. That's less fun. It is less fun. But outside of eating more, there is, you're not going to, it's, it's all going to be less fun. So there's no way to get that maximum fun level of baking if your goal is also to eat less. That is the, huh. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sold on these fulminator mages just because like they're almost impossible to cast even with birds. Um, what does this thing do against Tron? Probably like Damping Sphere, right? Let's see how this goes. I don't I, like. I don't know what to change in the main deck is the issue. I think the main deck is just like there's a lot of things. I had a cup of Death Wish coffee for the first time. Let's just say is that, is that good or bad? I think miracles make for some really fun moments in Magic, and by fun moments, I mean really miserable moments. I feel that it is good. All right, well, that's good. That's good then. All right. And then we just got to wait. Let's just now we just wait. Just hanging out. guys like uh hanging out in the old uh, the old modern cusels I like that No Beat said, check out this book. It's amazing and has a ton of unique recipes. And then Pernicious Dude says, nice Josh. I'll add that to the list of cookbooks. Uh, no Beats is Ben, not Josh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I guess no one else play Modern today. You guys want to play some Modern? You guys want to see a dead body? <laughs> 
Oh, man. I was like, I only mentioned it because I was looking. I was like, you said thanks, Josh. And I was like, oh, what did Josh say? And then I was like, Josh hasn't said anything for like 10 minutes. These are some modern problems. You, you got a $5 Kindle credit just for clicking the link? I'm going to click it now, too. Why is anyone in this queue? Guys, I feel really lonely right now. Here's a $5 Kindle credit. Oh. All right, it worked. Fantastic. What a deal. Hall of the Bandit Lord? What the hell is that nonsense? Is that the one that makes like a 5-5? Five five? I like searching for uh, partial... Uh, I don't know if it's found that the creature has haste. Oh, maybe. Coming to play tapped is a bit much, and also being colorless is rough. God, given given Prime Speaker haste, though, they'll never see it. I guess they would see it coming because it's it's on the board. Wow, this is the longest I've had to wait in a queue. This is pretty unbelievable. I'm actually... Uh, oh, we've got, we got Buster Brown. Buster Brown's here, guys. We did it. The sand actually looks very okay. Sure, I did that. It was me. Nothing else may have caused that. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Totally me. You're welcome for your $5 Kindle credit. I'm able to have Amazon give everyone $5 uh, via Kindle. That's a power I possess. Brickbeard, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Ten months in a row. Wow, it's like we... It's like we almost have our... Oh, we're not... I was like, let me... How come the Misty's not going into play? Chosen creature is spirit. All right, so we got a spirit deck, which means we should actually, we should actually be able to just, like Scrub Ranger seems pretty good against spirits. Caspi, welcome back. Thank you so much, buddy. Five months in a row. You guys are great. You guys are. Wonderful. You got it. I would not even try to counter that. Because I don't care. Uh, we have a breeding pool in hand. I guess we'll get a temple garden. We want a white source. We also want to maximize our green sources with Scrib Ranger. So. Uh, kind of want to just play Wall of Roots because it lets us play Prime Speaker the following turn. I will pay two. I will Wall of Roots. I used to have. I don't. I forgot. I there. I, I knew I had a friend who called it Roots instead of Roots, Wall of Roots, and it always stuck with me. And I always laugh every time I every time I say it. But I can't remember who it was. I will take one whole damage. Oh, they didn't play anything? Well, well then. Well, believe it or not, I'm not gonna just run my dude into your, into your spell queller. One, two. We could just play Scrub Ranger right now and then still play to see Rex Arc next turn. The problem is we have four total mana. So. Hmm. This is hard. Magic is hard. 
You guys ever play Magic before? It's really complicated. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have Spellqueller. Wall of Roots is much more exciting than his lesser cousin, Wall of Roots Cuz. <laughs> oh, man. That is... Yeah, I agree with you. I think Spellcaller is a pretty fair card. Like, you get the card back if it dies. It's just a 2-3, but, like, it's a strong... It's a strong but fair card. Let's get your boy out here. I'm actually just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna get this. I don't actually want to take a million damage from a stomping ground. We actually have no use for it, really. It's my Deceiver Exarch friend. Do, 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 do. We kind of have to counter this, which means that we can actually cast this. And if you don't counter this, we get to tap down your island, most likely. Because then you'll have, you'll have blue mana and you don't have spell queller mana, so... Oh, fascinating. Tap this dude. Man, Scrub Ranger is surprisingly good against the Spirit deck. Alright, they tapped and they tapped their island. Let's see what happens. Alright, they're gonna do something cool with this one mana that they deliberately floated. Absolutely nothing. Okay, sounds good. A bold, a bold strategy. Alright, they have to have two answers for a Vanifar, and they don't have mana for Path to Exile. Neon yeah, Tokyo Rain, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't get too excited, most of those were gifted subs. Most of them happened, like, there's like 35 gifted subs in the past, like, three days. Which, I'll have you guys know, is not sustainable over a long period of time. Unless you guys are just literally my benefactors forever. Sure. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're just dead. They're dead. Oh, you're dead. I'm so sorry that you're dead. JK, not sorry. Um... Um, we'll get the resto blink this guy. Use it to untap this guy. Get killed. Oh, you're gonna make me go through it. This is, oh, thank you. Thank you so much.
Man, you guys saying uh, you completely forgot about the five dollars? Really appreciate it. That's awesome. Like, I'm gonna be realistic. If you have, a, if you're like a, an adult and you have a job, like five dollars a month is not a lot. Like, it's basically nothing. I have like a ton of like five dollar subscriptions that I just like. They come out. I don't even think about it. It's a good position to be in. Let's put it that way. Okay, so you're playing a bunch of dirtily, dirtily dirtles. Deputy detention feels good. Feels good. Scavenging just doesn't feel great. Galactic feels pretty bad because like Pride Mage. The only thing I really feel like, feel like I want is Path to Exile, to be quite honest. I don't think Selfless Spirit's great here. Oh, what happened? Oh, they're just play a rewards packs randomly given to me in the middle of a match. Sounds... Makes sense. I got tired of my free Prime Trip dropping and just signed up on Patreon. I accept that. My Patreon content's a little lacking. Like, it's, it's hard to keep up with it just because I... I want to post deck lists to Patreon and stuff, but the problem is that I do a lot of it on stream. You know, so I'll like post a deck list on Patreon, but then I'm like, I'm just going to play this on stream. You're going to see it there anyway. So it was really hard for me to like keep up with both. So I basically kind of just made Patreon. Like if you don't want to, if you don't want to pay the $5 a month to sub on, on Twitch, check out me, check my Patreon page out. A dollar a month is super awesome. It still helps the YouTube content. It helps the stream. It's just another way to like give back if you really want to support the content without having to like spend the five bucks. And I do keep trying to think of things for Patreon that's like a that are like reasonable values to to include. Uh, we can probably take Spell Skite out. I think one quarter of calling out and bring in uh, the other deputy. Snap keep. Sneep. Sneep, as the kids say. Severus Sneep. Sarcastatron, thanks for saying so, buddy. It means a lot. My problem with Staticaster is just that they... Oh, wow. And we have Knight of Autumn in hand? That's great. My problem with Staticaster is only that they don't have that many X1s. I guess they kind of do, don't they? Hey Frank, long time listener, first time Vanifar. My coworker is eating raviolis for lunch and the topic of the in the cubicles just turned into mono Maggianos. No one here has ever been to Maggianos. Why am I eating cheese squares right now with you? Oh, why am I not eating cheese squares with you right now with McGimp and Uh This is a good question. Um, you see, sometimes people move and they make stupid decisions. And the moving is also based on stupid decisions. So the, it's, it's, it's usually a cascading waterfall of stupid decisions. Uh, that separates friends, and uh, if that's not the case, then it's a lot easier to organize. Yeah, like McGimp comes out of like the <laughs> comes out of the the shadows because you guys are lame. Oh, I didn't even know you were there. That's oh, that's just creepy, Mike. No, no worries. Is there a counter spell they could have for this? I don't know what their counters are. They don't have spell cooler mana in any way, shape, or form. All right, cool. So destroy an artifact. Get this guy out of here. But I agree, why are cheese squares not in my mouth right now? Yeah, this is something I ask myself every day. Sometimes I'm streaming and I'm like, man, I could be eating cheese squares right now. And then I regret my choices. And uh, go back to living my less fulfilled life. That's pretty good. Are they going to make a 4-3? Yes, they are.
So we're just going to play Galenalindra here. Which I don't actually think is great, to be honest with you. I don't think she's great in this matchup. Are we going to block? No, so we might as well attack. I'm not bothered what shape my cheese comes in as long as I have some. I agree. I had to step away for a second. Frank's explain to Dankus Dags why no CC. I don't know what that means. Did Dankus have a legit question about about credit cards? Is that what you're asking? Oh, collected company. Collected company. Um, we can take four here. They have two. They have two lands. What's the question about collected company? I didn't build the deck, so you're gonna have to ask Jake, otherwise known as Guardian Links. He would know. He would know better than I would. However, yeah, well, I think Collected Company, you can't hit Vanifar, which is pretty big. And there's a lot of four drops in the deck that you kind of just want to hit. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think they're going to have an answer to this. I'm going to be honest. However, we could just play it safe. We could block next turn with, with probably Glenelinch Archmage. Play two birds and then play Archangel of Thune. Like, if they have a path, it's really bad, right? Yeah, we're just going to go double bird here. You can feel it all over. If they play like Drog Skull Reaver, it's pretty rough because then this guy's a 5 4 with hex proof, and that's pretty sad. Oh, here comes Kitty Cat. Donkey Dunk, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're just going to eat this. I don't think they have one spell, let alone dose, so. Huh. Wow. Kiki on Night of Autumn is pretty insane. We can actually play this, get a red. Play Kiki Jiki. Copy Knight of Autumn. Gain four life. That's pretty nuts. Oh, it doesn't pump Knight. It's an, no, it's a Dryad Knight Illusion. So yes, it does. Yeah, that's the whole point of Phantasmal Image. Oh, it's a Spirit. It's not a Spirit, though. That's right. You're right. Can we copy Glenelinger Archmage and then it dies with a counter, but then we can get Knight of Autumn to gain four? Does that work? I think that's just worse than copying Knight of Autumn, right? No, because then it sticks around, right? No, because it doesn't get it's not an actual creature. It's not an actual card. Never mind. I'm thinking of uh I'm thinking of like Phantasmal Image becomes because it's a card and then it persists back. And it's no, it's not legendary. This is not legendary. Her name isn't Glenelendra. The Glenelendra is is the name of the, the the tribe. Her name isn't like it's not it's not her name's not Glenelendra. That's not her name. The problem is we can either we can either do one or one or one or one or two of these. Um, I think we're gonna actually risk it. Go to five, then go to nine, and have a bunch of things out. I thought it was weird legendaries. No, they're the legendaries, though. None of these cards are legendary. <laughs> it could be her name. I'm pretty sure her name's Glenn. Well, Glenn is a girl's name. Glenn is a unisex name. That's why there's people. That's why Glenn Close is an actress. Like there's Glenn is is not a, a not a gender specific name.
Well, it's not right, but it's you get the point. The the point is Donkey Donk, thank you so much. Hey, Frank, I never catch a stream live being a teacher, but we had a snow day today. Thanks for all the great content and making my life better. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much for the support and the sub. Really appreciate it. Echoing truth on this. Don't you, and you bounce this back. I feel like that's actually fine. Can I just replay it this turn? What's the... Alright, well, that's... Let's gain four life. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, you get your guy back, which means you wouldn't. You get another four, but... I mean, you can also copy Kikijiki, which doesn't do anything. You can copy Glenlinger Archmage. None of those do really anything. And your pathing, yeah, that's fine. If only you guys could hear this cat right now. Could have just attacked with Glenn with Knight, but it doesn't really matter. My wife gets really confused when I just randomly start laughing at YouTube. Nice. Nice. What are you laughing at in there? So you can copy Archangel of Thing, but it doesn't really matter. Because we have Path La Exile. That's Path the Exile, which doesn't really make much sense. That's a thing, isn't it? This game's over. One good path deserves another. Alright, all these creatures are getting buffed. So I'm pretty sure we're actually gonna search for something right now. Let's go get a let's go get a restoration angel with the trigger on the stack. So this is three, we'll do four. Oh, Spike Fitter seems good too. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, Billy with the, I mean, the game was probably over anyway, right? I guess we could have done this when, uh, before, before we killed them. Anyway, we're just going to pass here. This is fine. Damage is already done. We messed up. That's a real still had all these moment. You're like, yeah, I'll, I just so you know, I could have killed you at any time. <laughs> you had no idea. Neither did I. <laughs> but here we are. Cats eat. Boy, boy do they ever. It's getting real weird, guys. It's getting real weird. <sighs> Cats, I don't know what's going on right now. I think he's having a, I think they're having a, a stroke. <sighs> All right. All right. Yeah, I thought he heard the. I was like, oh, maybe you heard the cat in the background, and now you're all right. I mean, it's whatever. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna snipe in the two man queue, like you got, you have really very little going on in your life. Hey, 
And that's the end. Did they say anything before they left? Did they say anything crazy? No, just Cats in the Cradle was the last thing. All right. Very weird. Very strange. Uh, I have no idea what's happening right now. Is there anything we'd change? I don't know if I like Deputy of Detention just because it's not... It feels like it's way too sensitive. Like, you're going to take their guy. They're going to kill your guy. I feel like it's cute. No, how about you join me? Never. I don't ever want to play against you again. You've ruined my modern experience with you. It's ruined. Ruined. I like Renegade Rallyer a lot. I like Nut of Autumn a lot. Yeah, it makes me wonder if they, like, revealed themselves as a stream sniper, and then they're like, oh, dang it, now they're going to know I'm watching the stream. And so he's just like, I'll just say more nonsense. And I was like, all right. Um, I'm, I'd rather, I'd honestly rather have another Knight of Autumn than a Pride Mage. I think Knight of Autumn is super versatile and modern. I just think it's a better card. And it, and it facilitates going, uh, like, going wide better. We could also put, like, Kitchen Finks in instead as well, which I like a lot because you can sacrifice Kitchen Finks to get, like, Breaching Hippocamp, and then you still, you can, then you still have another Kitchen Finks. So you can get, like, a Resto, and then Blink the, the Hippocamp and untap Mana Fair, and then sack the Resto, and have Kitchen. I, I just don't think I like Deputy Detention. I think it's too sensitive and modern. The decks that you're going to play this against are going to kill it immediately. Like, this is not safe from anything. Fatal Push, Dismember, Abrupt Decay, Assassin's Trophy, Path to Exile, Lightning Bolt. Like, literally everything kills it. Does the deck have Thune? No, it just has Archangel of Thune. It doesn't have actual Thune. The problem, okay, so one thing you guys might be forgetting with the Malira combo is that, like, you do need a sacrifice outlet, right? Like, you have, like, Viscera Seer in the, in the, in the Malira combo because you actually need something to keep sacking Kitchen Finks or keep sacking uh, Murderous Redcap 2, and I don't think we have that. So we would have to add a, a good amount more cards. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the deputies out, and I'm just going to add a Kitchen Finks. And it's also just fine against, like, aggressive decks. You can always just play Intruder Alarm. I guess that's true. I think that was reprinted in 8th, right? Unlike my cons my Coastal Piracy uh, mix-up the other day. Creatures don't untap during their controls and tap steps. Whenever, whenever a creature comes into play, untap all creatures. Fascinating. Oh, Phantasmal Image might be good here? That's a good question. I will play first. I will mulligan this hand immediately. This is a keeper. And now we get our, our sweet Noble Hierarch into... Oh, Thalia could be very good or very, very bad. I will keep it because I think it's just at worst it's a two two it's a two one. And the spectacle of a stream begins. Oh, man. You almost got to play my stuffy deck again, but John Connor got in first. Oh, man. Well, he is from the future, so it makes sense. Come with me. Actually, we could just play Kitchen Finks here. That might have been better. Yeah, we definitely want one Phantasm image, I think. That's actually... I think it's probably better than this. It might even be better than the Thalias. The Thalias are cute, but they don't actually fulfill our our goal, right? Like, they're not like... 
I would ac actually almost almost rather have another spell skite than a than a Thalia. Yeah, ain't nobody surprised by this. Do I just avoid? There's no way to avoid getting. Maybe there is stomping ground. Let's just avoid getting blue sources so that they have to they have to work for their island walk, I guess. Okay. Because we have noble hierarch, which they should not be able to remove uh, with any any amount of ease. God, you hear this cat in the background? You guys can hear that, right? I have no idea what he's yelling at. Okay. Well, these are all four fours. But we can attack with Kitchen Finks. Army of four fours, OP. I actually have a little fan on my desk right here, and I have to turn it on today because it's getting it's getting toastier outside, guys. Hold on, let's see what the temperature is. Ooh, guys. Oh my God, it is practically scorching, guys. Seventy five degrees out. Ooh, I can't. It just gets so toasty, you know. Seventy-five degrees. Enchanted land is an island. Guys, no land is an island. Oh no, man is an island. I guess no land is an island either. I'll attack for twelve. Can I blink this? I guess not. We can actually attack for eight here, which is actually a lot. I don't think it matters though, right? Like there's nothing we can hit. this deck one two three four five six seven oh my god we are one away from kiki g keying we're actually two away because we have thalia for seven so actually it's six so what can we get for three well i could get knight of autumn to kill their thing But then, like, we only have a Knight of Autumn. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much game. Okay, so this is a situation where I actually wouldn't have minded having one Deputy of Detention to get rid of both of these guys. But we'd still go to two. But this guy wouldn't have Island Walk, though. And they have one card. Actually, one Deputy in that match would have been nice. I'm actually going to take out the cords. I 
Don't care about Gaddock Teague. Don't care about Pride Mage. Don't care about Sphere or Ooze or Thalia. Don't care about the Selfless Spirit. Don't care about Kataki or Ether Sworn Canonist. I'll probably just take out one more Selfless Spirit to bring him one more path. And is there anything that we can bring a Knight for? I think the rest of the deck is fine. Three seventy-five. Brandon Whizbang, here, take my money, Florida boy. Enjoy your seventy-five freaking degrees. I won't need money when I freeze to death. <laughs> Oh, well, I really hope it doesn't come to that. But um, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Let's get uh, let's get a stomping ground because we have Kiki Jiki. I want to just go Knight of Autumn and kill that stupid thing. Let's do that. We're going to take a lot of damage here, but we have Kitchen Finks. I think it's Steam Vents here. No, it's not, because we want to avoid Islands, so... Play one land a turn, like Richard Garfield intended. Also, if we manage to get out Kiki Jiki with Knight of Autumn on board, it's basically unbeatable, right? Oh, Merfolk Mistbinder. I bet you don't have a green. Okay, that's pretty good. This is where we get a basic forest. I'm tempted to get rid of the... Yeah, we'll just stack for three. That's fine. I mean, like, copying Kitchen Finks is just as good, right? I don't think Richard Garfield did make Dredge, did he? I mean, like, didn't he help? He helped on Time Spiral. So maybe he did have a hand in Dredge? I can't imagine a situation where I don't play this pre-combat. I don't think Persis is going to work the way you think it does, Billy. I mean, do they have like a counter spell? Like a... I don't know. Oh, Dredge was OG Ravnica. Yeah, because they had uh, Golgari Grave Shell. Grave Shell Scarab. I don't know what the, I don't know what the card's called. They had, a bunch of, they had a bunch of Dredge cards in that set, as you can imagine. No, oh, they didn't vapor snag. Cats need food. Sure. No, well, that's man. They couldn't have snapped that guy off faster. Cool Gary Graveshell. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are no cards named Cool Gary Graveshell. You got it. <laughs> Billy, I wasn't actually sure if you were kidding or not. 
Which is kind of funny. Oh, they're just going to bounce two of my guys. Fascinating. That we knew of. That we did not. Oh, let's let's pay a white instead. Nope, not a green. Literally third time's a charm. All right. Oh, no attacks? Fascinating. You got it. The old turn six of uh, Aether Vial, a classic. All right, all right. Oh. Let's get Path to Exile back. Let's get Night of Autumn back. Let's play a Noble Hierarch. Man, Eternal Witness. OP! Yeah, we actually wanted to use Kihijiki now because uh, I don't want them to just like vapor snag it in response if they draw that or bounce it to our hand in response. So like being able to just play around uh, whatever they may have is is worth more than just having an untapped Kihijiki in a blocker. So Why no attack with who though? Oh, with the with the uh, eternal witness. I could because I forgot about. I literally forgot about noble hierarch. I'm actually just gonna block here. We could block here and then kill this to uh, to take less damage, but I don't think that's really even worth it. The reason being, I want the eternal witness on board because it's just a very very strong card to have. So we'll take one less here. Because there's a lot going on, it's literally what it comes down to. Modern is the format where like you can feel like you're very far ahead, and then like one one good top deck from either side is just significantly game changing. Hunter, stop! He just keeps looking at himself. Also, we have Spell Skite, so I guess we could have actually waited if we wanted to. I don't know how they beat this. Yeah, I'm like, this is ambitious for you to try to beat this. The problem is we don't see any of the one drops in this version. We just see all the two drops, all the two twos.
Petition to change card name from Birds of Paradise to La Birds of La Paradise. That's it's French for the Birds of the Paradise. In case you guys didn't know, I'm gonna riskily riskily keep this hand because I feel like if we get if we hit a land, we can go Prime Speaker on turn three, and that's pretty good. I call this deck Women with Weapons because it's all women with weapons. You got a riskily for the biscally. That's what I always say. He's never said that. What is this? Grafting cage? You can't cast spells from graveyards and libraries? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's something. We're going to have to Detention Sphere this guy. That's a yikes for me, dog. I guess we could hit any of our... Oh, we actually... We can't Court of Calling either, can we? Huh. Well... We're hitting the we're hitting all the choice lands here. What wait did the where did this mountain quote even come from here? I have no idea what even provoked that mountain quote. Do they have Cryptic Command in hand? Is that what we're dealing with here? Boy, I'll tell you what. R -r -r Rally here! Rallyer gets Wall of Roots back, but that's not super exciting. Uh, Eternal Witness. Deceiver Exarch probably has to be the pick, right? And then we untap Banifar. Sack this dude. Do we have the win? Breaching Hippocamp. Got to untap Vanifar here. You can't sack birds for a ranger. Birds cost one. Ranger cost three. Oh, Scrib Ranger. I gotcha. I gotcha. Seems good. Well, we didn't have it at any point. Like, at any point, we, if we tried to go off, they could have done... They could have collected company and they could bounce. Like, we either have infinite time or no time. We could Court of Calling... I don't think, like... Courting for one, does that do anything? I don't think so. The problem is you have to, like, re... I, maybe it's... Maybe it's fine. Oh, we actually don't have three green. So, yeah, we're just going to let this happen, I guess. This this is actually kind of sad. <sighs> I 
that's that's uh that's a sad day. We don't have enough green now. So this drink is bone dry. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty-one. Yep, that seems extremely lucky. <laughs> they literally just have to hit this. If they didn't hit this off of Collective Company, we just win the game. So, and now they have island walk so we can't actually block any of these guys and I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can do in that regard we have 5 total mana here if Vanifar had haste that'd be sweet who gets the win we could cord for 4 we can cord for four, get a Restoration Angel, and blink two of their lords. Still doesn't do anything, though. It leaves us with one blocker, and they still have Island Walk. We have the combo in hand <laughs> for infinite life. Can we play Spike? No, we can't even play Spike Feeder to then one, two, three, four, five to get Archangel. That doesn't do anything. Oh my god, I literally have to scroll back up to see Jenna's introduction because it's hilarious. One, two, three. This is up for four, right? What do we get for four? I don't think anything. Yeah, like literally nothing. All right, well, I think we are dead. I don't know game seems good like your deck seems good it's just hard to figure out like what to we're gonna take out the thalias we added the phantasmal image hmm. is there any way to give vanifar, vanifar haste i don't think so like no efficient mr lapore after a thousand years of me fighting students who can finally meet again for the first time but seriously they don't pay attention in class and get surprised pikachu when they <laughs> Now prepare yourself for reverend comments and trying to convince you to play red. Good sir, are you up to the challenge? No, no I am not. No I am not. need one card we can add one card to the deck is there anything we feel like we're missing like a cool pod target Uh, Kira's pretty bad because you have you're you're trying to Kiki combo, so like you can't target your own Deceiver Exarchs or Breaching Hippo Camps if you don't have uh, if you have Kira out. DN, what's DN? Death Knight. I don't hate a single Sun Titan, but like I'm never gonna cast it is the problem. <laughs> holy shit that's gas dude did you add dn no i didn't add dn what's dn these nuts okay uh sounds good thanks appreciate it crying out loud oh i don't hate a shalai shalai seems pretty cool oh i like that there, dead, dead, dead bucks. 
Honey's <laughs> Joker, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Let's let's try it with one shalai. I kind of like that. All right, we'll give it we'll give it one more old college try. He hasn't noticed yet? Oh my god. God damn it. <laughs> my god. Oh, crying out loud, dude. Yep, of course we're playing against Kerwit here. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You son of a biscuit. This hand is terrible. Watch, we're gonna mold a... We're gonna mold a four here against Kerwit. God, I hope he's not like Mike and he's playing some. I hope he's not like McGimp playing some degenerate, unfun deck. This hand is great. I'm gonna put this dude on the bottom. I don't think we need two of these, let alone, let alone one. And then with the big Dan. <laughs> oh, what up, big Dan? I can play Forest in one one drop too, buddy. What are you playing here, man? What's your game? What's your game? Kerwit, if you're, if that is your real name. Clearly not anymore because you got some lands. Wait, oh nice. Well, I I, I don't have I only have two. It's okay. Let's hold our horses until that third land drops. A band deck with triple red card. <laughs> what could go wrong? We have a we have a red source right here, buddy. Oh, the old fetch for basic mountain and uh, and do nothing. Classic. No, oh, here we go. Something's happening. Oh god, this again. This old this old chestnut. <laughs> oh, fantastic! All right, we're just gonna play this now because we have no lands. And we're not going to attack into their Boros Reckoner, I guess, so.
Not going to attack into Boros, you reckon? That is correct. Nailed it. Oh, God. So here's the thing. One, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, they can't cast Blasphemous Act yet, I don't think. I don't think. I do kind of like a, an Archangel of Thune here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. What's Blast Max? 13? Is it 13? B-L-A-S-P-H. Let's see. It's 9? Oh, they could have they could have done it then, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. And, what are they, for, yeah, they could have done it. Oh, God. Did they just not have it? I thought it cost 13 because it was 13. I'm thinking of like, there's all these like symmetrical cards where it's like, it costs 13 mana. It's a 13, 13. It does this, 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 13, 13, 13, 13. If I say no, that would not be a lie. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Well, so we could play Prime Speaker here. It blocks. No, it doesn't because then it takes two. Then this guy deals two. And this guy's a real, this guy's a real turd burger. All right, we're going to play this and then hope we just win. Star of Extinction. Oh my god, that would be gas. It costs 7 mana though, which is a significant more than uh, a significant amount more than than Blasphemous Act. So We're going to go to nine because they could just. That's right, buddy. Red, red, and we can get a stomping ground. Yeah, that's right. What could go wrong? Nothing. Oh, wow. Did you guys hear that? That was extremely loud. Don't kill this in response. That would be so sad. Do you remember how hard you laughed during the It's Not a Phase Mom joke? That was a good one. That was a that was what's known as a classic. This guy, make a copy. Untap uh, this guy. If you make me go through it, I swear to God, I will unsub you and ban you from the channel. Nice. We did it. I like the name of the not a phase clip. It's Affluent, affluent Succulent Doge John Carnage. <laughs> That's my affl Affluent Succulent Doge John Carnage. Okay, so I want these for Boros Reckoners. It's not a phase, Mom. I don't think I care about Scavenging Ooze or Selfless Spirit. Night of Autumn doesn't seem super necessary. I see that. <laughs> Preemptive GG. Actually, Gattic is pretty good. I'll take out one. Whenever I bring in the Gattic I want I want less Court of Callings because you can't really cast them. For next game, classy. I like how that clip ends. Holy sh... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, when I laugh real hard, I'm like, Oh, God, hold on. I can't laugh anymore. It gets pretty high.
a fetch land would be great because we can go noble hierarch fetch land renegade rally or get back to the fetch land and that's like we're ramping oh the mike's dad clip with uh with a long time is very good I too have a noble hierarch. So this is not a fetch land, but we can still play like a Deceiver Exarch here. Tap one of their their little gentlemen's. We could also play Wall of Roots and Land. Or we can play this Wall of Roots and yeah, let's do let's do this. We'll take two. Wall of Roots. And we'll play Gadok Teague, even though it does shut off our Court of Calling for now, but it also shuts off their <laughs> Sorry, I don't know that. She still don't know. She'll, she'll never know. It's a mystery that that haunts us throughout time. That clip is classic. That clip is like one of the best clips. That is that is one of the best pieces of content this stream has produced. I am uh, convinced of that. The dad clip and the uh, and the not a phase mom clip. Mike has some great moments, man. When Mike's on his game, Mike is on his game. What does this do? Okay, so this is are, wait. <laughs> is this so? Are you doing four here? All right. You know what? I'll just take four. That's aggressive. So, one, two, we have four mana. We can keep up path. I prefer the ice. I, I prefer the ice falling out of Mike's mouth. That's also a classic. Actually, which time? Remember the remember the gum fell out of his mouth. Mike's definitely laughed on stream, but I think I definitely I get I get lost in a good laugh like that way more than he does. It haunts us throughout time. We must consult the sage. Uh, I can't think of any more spice references. Two damage to this dude, huh? I'm almost tempted to path my own guy, but this is actually nice. Actually, I think we are doing this. Let's get a forest. Because now we have an extra mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana for Court of Calling, so we can actually just go get a Vanifar. I guess we don't have to do it during our main phase, huh? We can just do it next turn. Oh, it's not a mana ability, so I guess here we are. Here we are. All right, hope we don't die. We're probably dead. I just get Eternal Witness. 
also get Shalai. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This would be nine, so this is exactly for like. If they have Blasphemous Act, it's real bad. Do we just play like they don't have it? Or do or do we like actually play around it and try to get something valuable? Like. Like we can get Phantasmal Image and Kitchen Finks. I think we're just going to risk it. Like, it's whatever. We still get a Kitchen Finks. We have three mana. Still have a Deceiver Exarch if they Blast Massac. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to Blast Massac and blow us out. Hmm. <sighs> I'm going to take it. I don't think they can deal eight. I don't think Kerwick can deal eight to me. And there's the Blasphemous Act. Yep, this is all, all predicted. If we can get a fetch land here, it'd be fantastic. Oh, raise the verge thicket. Like you do. I'm just going to win with these. This is how modern works. You're just going to win with a 1-4 and a 2-1 over a long enough timeline. We are pretty far away from the Kikijiki, but fetch land. Resto is actually pretty strong here. Now the question is, do we wait to Resto until we actually get value off of it? Hmm. So we can actually play Resto, blink Kitchen Finks, and then we have an attacker. Uh, and if they block, they can't kill anything else. I think that's probably better than just tapping this guy down and attacking for three, four, five, six, seven. Or three would be six, because we're not blinking this. Yeah, okay, let's just do that. Look at this preemptive GG. Look at this rude preemptive GG I'm giving him. <laughs> oh, get him. All right, let's see what happens. Noble Hierarch and... No, Eternal One is actually pretty good. Where are your Path Dexiles? I feel like you want some Path Dexiles in this deck. I think you're dead to this Restoration Angel. I'm no expert, but... Because you only have six mana, so you can't Blasphemous Act. Ambitious. I will kill you before then. I mean, you could just have Path in Hand, actually, and then you can go block, block, Bass Massac. Yeah, that's... So it's not strictly over.
Got him. <laughs> yeah, flying is broken. If you guys ever played Magic, you can't beat a flying creature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can we cord for anything cool for four? Yeah, let's do this. Watch this. We'll just do this. Still had all these moment. Got him. We got him. This deck is sweet. I like this deck a lot. Um, this deck could definitely be a contender if it's tweaked perfectly. I don't know if I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if this is the perfect configuration, but it's actually, I thought it was good. And, like, the, one of the brilliant things about the Birthing Pod list previously was that you can actually just turn it into an aggressive deck. Like, even if you get rid of Birthing Pod, even if you get rid of, like, Court of Callings and things like that, you still just have a really efficient creature deck where you're just playing, like, Kitchen Finks and, you know, uh, Restoration Angel and Knight of Autumns and things like that. And, um, you know, that was one of the best parts about Birthing Pod and the, and the combo decks, the Kiki combo decks back in the day was because... Well, the, not the Kiki Combo decks particularly, but like the the ones you could pot into. Because you can actually... Hellraiser Goblin. Really? Huh. Attacking each combat's pretty rough, though, because then you're forcing things like Spellskite and Birds. But it is an option. That's an interesting option. But, um, yeah, deck was sweet. Jake, thank you so much for uh, for letting me try it out. Really appreciate it, as always. Thanks for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. Also going to be doing... Uh, Jake and I have arranged a Sultai week for Modern that's coming up. We're going to do two matches a day until Friday. Like, two matches Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then on Friday, we're going to be doing a, um, a a league with the completed list. So we're going to be updating a Sultai list, list in Modern for an entire week. So that's going to be sweet. But if you guys want to get your own deck critiqued, definitely check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. Links are in the description below. You can also... Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons and uh, thank you guys for watching I will see you next time if you're watching on Twitch I'm not leaving I'm just ending the YouTube video but I'll be back and I'll see you guys next time